Hey all Christmas Science of Speed. Today I'm going to show you how to flash your NSX with the K-Tuner V2 Flash. You're going to need a Windows-based laptop or desktop, it doesn't need to be in the car, with an internet connection. The whole process takes about 10 to 15 minutes. So let's get started. Before beginning, if your NSX has a JB4 tuning box, it is not compatible with the K-Tuner Flash. The JB4 must be removed or disabled by setting it to map zero. The safest bet is to simply remove it from the vehicle. If your NSX was purchased used, we do recommend first verifying if a JB4 is installed by turning on the ignition, then opening your phone's Bluetooth settings and tapping add a device. If you see an option named JB4, a JB4 unit is installed and should first be removed. First, download and install the software at ktuner.com forward slash downloads. Plug the Ktuner flash into your PC, then fill in the registration details, then click register. A message will indicate that registration was successful. Close this window and click close on the account management window. The Ktuner software will now open and prompt you to register the device to your account. Click yes. At this point, Disconnect the K-Tuner from your PC. Next, we're going to lock the V2 flash unit to your vehicle. Go ahead and take the supplied cable and on the OBD2 side of the cable, plug that into the port which can be found down below on the left hand side under the steering wheel. Once you've done that, you can turn the vehicle on by pressing the start switch twice. We recommend turning off the headlights to conserve the battery. Go ahead and plug the unit directly into the flash and you'll be prompted with a question of do you want to lock the unit to the vehicle? Tap yes. Next, it will indicate that it's locked. Hit OK. Let's return to your PC to complete the process. The software will automatically check for software compatibility. You do not need to do this on your own. Review the terms, click the checkboxes, and then click yes. In the unlikely event that you receive a message that the software version is not supported, this means that the version of software on your ECU does not match currently supported versions and will need to be updated. Please email info at ktuner.com for instructions on how to proceed. You will be prompted to set up the K-Tuner flash to upload the factory map. Click yes. Let the upload process complete. Once complete, the progress window will automatically close and you will see logging in the bottom left of the window indicating the process is complete. Next, you will upload the tune maps to the K-Tuner flash unit. Click file, then new tune. Expand the selection and double click the option that is shown. Select which map you would like to upload to the K-Tuner flash unit. Select one map, then select next. The file is loaded once new file is shown at the top. Click the upwards arrow as shown to upload the map to the K-Tuner flash. Click yes to the prompt. The K-Tuner flash can hold up to five maps. Type a description for the map like stage one. Select the position you'd like to store this map in one through five. Once complete, the progress window will automatically close and you will see logging in the bottom left of the software window indicating the process is complete. Repeat the same process if you'd like to upload more than one map to the K-Tuner flash. After uploading the map to the unit, return to the vehicle and reconnect the K-Tuner and turn the ignition on by tapping twice on the start switch without your foot on the brake. Turn off your headlights and the air conditioning blower if it's on to preserve the battery. Tap the screen to return to the main menu, then tap the K-Tuner logo, then tap flash. You're gonna see that your options include factory and one of the calibrations or maps that you have uploaded. Go ahead and tap the calibration or map that you would like to upload. 
The flash process takes about five minutes and during this time, the indicators on your dash will stay on. At the end, the unit will say that the flash is successful. Tap OK. Turn the ignition off by pressing and holding the start switch to turn off the ignition power. A quick tap like normal will not turn it off. Wait until the LCD on the dash is completely dark. After the LCD goes dark, wait 90 seconds. You may want to use your phone with a timer to count it down. And at that point, the unit will say, key back on. Don't key back on until you've waited the complete 90 seconds. Key on after the 90 seconds is up. Remember to press the switch twice but don't put your foot on the brake. The unit will now come up to the regular display. Go into the main menu and click the K-Tuner logo. Next, click errors. You will see two to four errors. Go ahead and click clear all. Wait until you hear the modules in the car reset, which is about 20 seconds, and then wait an additional minute. Key off and wait until the LCD on the dash goes completely dark. Go ahead and key back on. Make sure to tap the switch twice with leaving your foot off the brake. Go into the K-Tuner logo again and check for errors. It should say no ECU codes exist. However, if you need to repeat the process to clear the codes, repeat that same process. If there are no codes, you can now start the vehicle. You will need to drive the car for about 10 miles under normal driving conditions in order to reset the ECU. After 10 miles, you can view the throttle parameter in order to confirm that the throttles are being opened to 100%. This indicates that the ECU reset process is complete. That's it, that's the complete process. If you run into any issues during this process, contact info at ktuner.com for further assistance.